Hey everybody, thank you for clicking on the video. Today we're going to have a little walk around the beautiful village of Kington and um, I'm going to be going up Hergest Ridge. So I've just started the walk now. Come with me, we'll have a cup of coffee on the way and we'll have a look at some views. Hergest Ridge is a large elongated hill which traverses the border between England and Wales in the United Kingdom. Between the town of Kington in Herefordshire and the village of Gladestri in Powys, its highest point, which is in England, is 426 metres high. Hergest Ridge, pronounced Hargest Ridge by the locals, is the second studio album by English musician and songwriter Mike Oldfield. It was released on 28th of August 1974 by Virgin Records. Okay guys, so here we are, we're at the top of the ridge, and as you can see in the background, absolutely stunning scenery. This is a brew with a view. And the thing I like about this, we're actually just off the Offers Dyke path in Kington, is once you get sort of in the middle of this path, there's just like a collection of these fantastic looking trees, and you can either shelter from the wind in the middle, or as you can see behind me, there's actually a bench. So you can just put your cook kit up, have a coffee, relax, and soak in those 360 panoramic views. Look at those all the way around. Just 360 view ropes. Absolutely stunning guys, absolutely stunning. All right guys, so here's the brew setup. I've got my little Jeep Odo Land cook set. And uh, I got this little, wind protector off of, um, I got the little wind protector from AliExpress, I got my Yeti that's got my water in and the lid of that is for the dog. So let's get started. Okay. Just give it a little bit to the bottom for pad. Put the rest in mine. Jobs are good. Security guy, security dog there, Pablo. Come out for a bit of an adventure. Up on the hills, whoever says Chihuahuas can't walk very far are lying. Okay, so let's get this fired up. I am low on gas. But I should imagine, I'm not going to need much. I should imagine I'm not going to need a lot just to boil that bit of water. And once I've boiled that, I'm going to have the caramel latte from Starbucks. Put it in the Yeti, pour the water in, shake it up, and I've got a brew with a view. Okay, so that took literally 
like a minute and a half. No time at all. And now we've got a lovely hot cup of coffee. Unless I knock it off. <laughs> nice lovely cup of coffee. So what I'm gonna do now is take it off. Then turn off the flame. And I'm quite pleased because the gas was lower. I have brought a spare gas just in case, but I was expecting the gas to run out. So now what we do, get the Yeti. Put all that lovely Starbucks goodness in there. Put that in my pocket. Leave no trace, guys. You all know that already. Right. Then I'm gonna put this down on a flat piece. I don't want to tip it all over the place like my buddy died camping wild with the dragon. So pour your hot water in there. And that is just exactly a mug full from home because I measured it out before I left. Then put your lid on. This is the best bit of these Yetis, guys. Not only do they keep your drinks hot whilst you're out and about in these amazing views. Once you put your drink in there, give it a shake. Job done. Don't even need a spoon. Don't even need a shovel to dig that. Right guys, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to enjoy these views and enjoy my brew and I'll bring you back in a moment. So as you can see guys, I did bring a seat, it wasn't required, I didn't know that, I didn't know where I was going to be honest, I just went walking and walking and walking until I got here. Um, so yeah, I've got my coffee already made, and as you can see my Odorland cook set, this thing was like £15 off Amazon, and I tell you what, it's been so, so good. You can see inside it, it holds the gas, the stand, the actual burner, a couple of spare coffees, put your lid on it which also doubles up as an extra pan if you need it. And then just put it in your little your little sack to hold it all. And this little camp tech is uh, ideal. I think that was about three pound off AliExpress, took about 16 years to get here, but what an absolute bargain. And obviously we've got the old, the old drone around. And then Pablo, hello Pab. So I'm gonna sit on this bench. I'm gonna have a coffee next to Nan Farrow. May she rest in peace, bless her. Catch you in a moment, guys. So I just want to say a couple of shout outs. Uh, obviously, you got Trev and Nathan doing some of nothing. You got Camping Dan 85. You got Camping Wild with Dragon Die. You got Twin Peaks, Mark and Simon. All of these guys, along with Y Explorer Mark. Uh, who else have we got? Karen's Gone Wild, um, Drunk on Wanderlust. All of these people have been recently actively engaging with my channel, so I just want to give them a shout out and say go and check them out. Subscribe, go comment on their videos, tell them Bulldog Badger sent you. 